Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Ferris with Rehab Dynamics Physical Therapy and today I have Cindy Young with us. She's going to talk to us a little bit about essential oils. Cindy is a nurse anesthetist and she also uses Young Living Oils to help um, do a lot of preventative wellness stuff on her own. So thanks Cindy for being with us and um, tell us a little bit about yourself, the oils, how you got into it, that kind of stuff. Um, well, thanks again for having me. I um, appreciate this honor of being able to speak. Um, so I just really, I got into Young Living Essential Oils about two years into what I call my wellness journey. And I've been on this journey for about seven years, which sounds crazy, but it all started um, when my first daughter, she was two years old and we were struggling and she was having um, just, we were at the doctor every month really. And it was just baffling to me because I just didn't understand why we were, you know, suffering through so many different rounds of antibiotics and steroids and um, breathing treatments. And um, it just, it broke my heart. And I just didn't think that this is the way that life should be. So I started, as a mom would do, digging deep. And the first thing I came across was um, a blog called 100 Days of Real Food. And it sounded so promising that I was like, well, that can't be too hard. I can totally eat real food for 100 days. So that started my journey. And um, at that time, I just started changing everything in our home. You know, I started going to the farmer's market that's in Covington, um, downtown Covington on Saturday mornings and grabbing most of my groceries. And um, my, my daughter's grown up there. They all know her there. And so from that, I actually no longer had allergies. And I had taken allergy shots since I was 18 years old. Um, at that time, I think I was 32. So that's a long time. And I was on multiple medications. I was able to get off all of my allergy medicines. Um, and I felt so much better. So that right there showed me, okay, there's something going on in our food supply that might be affecting my, you know, my immune system or how I in reacting to the world around me. So um, that made me dig a little bit deeper. And the deeper I got into it, I learned about, you know, decreasing the toxins in my home, you know, whether it be the, my shampoo, my soap, um, my skincare, my makeup. Um, so I really started cleaning up the entire house. And my daughter really blossomed during that time. And we um, got off of all of her medicines. We no longer had to go to the doctor every month. What was so awesome about it is um, she is nine years old now and she is thriving. I mean, she's just a healthy girl. We go, you know, once a year for a wellness visit and it's just like night and day. And on top of that, I had another baby um, in that seven year period. She's three now and I, she has been, it's like night and day experience. Um, she's only known, you know, eating grass fed beef and, living a natural wellness lifestyle and getting all the toxins. That's all she's, that's the environment she grew up in. And she has lived a much different life. She's seen the doctor only for wellness visits. And so that gives you back so much freedom in your life, so much time in your life. And, uh, you know, really decreases the amount of stress and worry on a mama because you know you're doing the right thing for yourself and for your kids and for your overall family's health. So um, Young Living kind of came into that just during, all my studies, I found them in all of that. So, very cool. Yeah. So, um, how do you use your oils throughout your day or your week or in your home, that kind of stuff? Yeah, um, I use Young Living products every single day. Um, I've been using them for five years. I get up in the morning. One of the first times I use my oils is during my prayer time. I like to use it just to kind of calm and ground me and for focus. There's many different oils I like to use for that. Um, frankincense, sacred mountain. Um, so that's kind of the first time I have my oils in the morning and then I love do it for skin. Do you diffuse those? Do you diffuse those or do you rub them on? I, usually it's just in my prayer closet and I just kind of put them on and just um, and have that moment or just you know put it in my hand and just smell it like that. Three deep breaths and that just kind of grounds you, you know, and kind of helps you to focus. And then um, skincare, honestly, Young Living Essential Oils and their skincare line, that's part of my favorite part about them. Um, I have had so much great results in the skincare um, line. So I use 
argan oil, which is the carrier oil. You can buy at Amazon and I mix it with either frankincense or sandalwood. Um, you can use lavender. There's so many great skincare oils. I could go on and on. And I usually switch it up each week. That way my skin's getting something new each week. And um, I've just seen some amazing results from that. Like just even skin tone, um, reducing uh, fine lines, um, just you know, overall brightness. So I have to say that's the next time I use my oils in the morning. Um, then we'll throw a diffuser on, usually with like lemon or citrus fresh, and that really like wakes up the house or peppermint. And um, so that's a nice way to kind of just start your day. Um, and then throughout the day, you know, you get kind of busy. So unless you're like on a regimen where you're using them regularly, maybe you don't see it as much. But then when the kids come back home from school and we're doing like homework, we'll do something for focus you know, in the diffuser, um, or just something to calm them down, like lavender or peace and calming. And, um, and then at night, everybody has a diffuser in their bedroom and we're diffusing, you know, oils for, um, just to increase our quality of sleep. So uh, again, lavender, peace and calming, and, um, there's some, there's so many, but it really, it's, it's changed our life. It really has. It's transformed the way that we go throughout our day. And um, I'm just really grateful to have them in my life. I don't know what I would do if I didn't, you know? And so with it being flu season, what are, what are your, some of your suggestions to kind of help well, in your area or <laughs> keep you healthy, that kind of stuff? Right. So, I mean, you know, first of all, there's, I think, a multitude to, to that. One is, you know, making sure your immune system is really working properly. And uh, I think there's just been a huge breakdown of our immune systems lately. And, um, you know, we're seeing it in autoimmune disease increasing and just so many different things. So really making sure your immune system is working properly. Um, some of my go-tos is um, the Thieves hand sanitizer. We put that on pretty much when we go into public, when we get to the car, everybody puts on their Thieves hand sanitizer. Um, I like the Thieves spray. I spray my buggies when I go to the grocery store. Because, you know, it's just a good vector for germs, you know, so I'll spray that. And, um, and then for oil-wise, there's a thieves oil that needs to be diluted before you use it. It's not really for young kids. Um, and, you know, my opinion, other people may say something differently. Um, so I don't, I usually two and up, I'll d dilute that and I'll use that, you know, topically. Now you can use it in your diffuser for anyone. So diffusing that is a really nice way um, just to kind of keep the air you know clean and then um i love um to use tea tree oil and lemon and um, frankincense those are some great oils um during this season also so, very cool yeah um and obviously we work with a lot of uh patients that have tight muscles either due to posture stress injury that kind of thing what um what are your, some of your recommendations for those of us that are always tight like in my traps right now and um, yeah. you know just usual day-to-day -day stresses that cause those tight muscle right so um that's what's another thing that's great about young living they have a couple of different products for that one is their cool azul pain relief cream and that cream is um, for joint and muscle pain and what it does it has like that menthol and that wintergreen in it so wintergreen has methyl salicylate in it so that helps um to inhibit that um, pain signal and then the menthol, you know, kind of gives you that cold sensing that really helps decrease that, that pain. So that's a great um, pain relief cream to use if you have sore muscles. Um, for essential oils, Panaway is awesome. Um, you dilute that and apply it topically. It also has the wintergreen in it. Um, so that's not for kids under 12 because it has the wintergreen in it because that's the methyl salicylate. And then um, there's Copaiba. And that's a great oil. It kind of smells woodsy. It comes from the Amazons, a tree in the Amazons. And that's a great oil that you can use. And um, there's deep relief roll-on that's super easy. And even today, um, I used what they call Aroma Seas. And um, this one was a friend of mine. It was her favorite. And she said she would just put it on any kind of like knot or, you know, kind of like trigger point, anything that was bothering her. And it would just whoop go away. And I was like, well, that's amazing. I have to go like try that. And so even today I was having like something right here and I just put it on and it really just relaxes that area. Um, and that has basil, marjoram, cypress, but um, also the soothing and relaxing effects of lavender and peppermint. So um, that's a great one too. So what, um, like I have a very sensitive nose and I know a lot of these have a very distinct smell. Yes. Um, is that something that 
do they have oils that don't have a smell or is it something that like you can accommodate to? Well, actually, um, all essential oils will have the scent of the plant that came with it and all the constituents that constituents that's in it. So know that um, if your sense of smell is heightened. Now, however, pure essential oils usually don't cause issues with people, you know, with smell because the some essential oils are actually chemicals. They just take the floral water and then they put a ton of chemicals with it. And that actually is um, bothersome to people. But pure essential oils usually aren't. I will say this, they are potent. So if like scents are really strong for you and a diffuser, I usually put five drops in my diffuser. You may only need one. And I will say over the years, you kind of get desensitized to how strong the scent, scents may be. Um, with that being said, pan away is not something you would diffuse. I mean, it smells like wintergreen, you know, it smells like, um, you know, like icy hot or something like that. It has that smell to it. So that's not something you would diffuse. And it's, that's what it's going to smell like, you know, if you put icy hot on, so if that bothers you. Um, Aroma Seeds has that basil and marjoram smell, so it's a little bit stronger. But like lavender is awesome. And so is peppermint. Most people love the smell of peppermint. Awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um the spray we use on our mats, uh, we have, we put some peppermint and lavender in that just so that it just kind of calming and, you know, makes, makes it smell better. Yeah. So, um, and anything else that you think like our population that might be watching this, you know, wellness, you know, post-op surgeries, just general postural thing, anything else that you think that, um, would be beneficial for them to know? Yeah. Well, post-op, I would be, you know, make sure you're speaking with your physician and, and dealing with that because, um, you know, there's some things that can happen post-op that you may not want to use essential oils with, you know, because essential oils can help decrease, you know, um, your blood viscosity. So maybe you could bleed more and things like that. So I would definitely, you know, be speaking with your surgeon if you're talking post-op, but, um, otherwise, I'm sorry, let me just move this up. Um, you know, if you are just, you know, definitely dealing with pain from, um, you know, chronic pain and things, I would definitely look into, I'm sorry, my little daughter, <laughs> um, that I would look into doing, you know, some things also with emotional health. You know, I have found for me, a lot of times it, um, my emotional health can trigger different pain in my bodies in different areas. And so that's another way essential oils work really well because they work with your limbic system that deals with your emotional but it's where you store your emotions is through your limbic system. And so you can do a lot of release with emotion, um, essential oils that kind of helps with all of that overall. I have found. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time. Um, yeah, thank you. To say. If somebody has any questions for you or would want to purchase some of these yeah. oils, how would they get in contact with you? Or do you have to go through a rep, I'm assuming, to get these oils or you yes. need to purchase yes, them from do. anywhere? Yeah, so um, you can go with somebody you know, or if you would like me to kind of walk you through the process, my um, website is young, Y-O-U-N-G, and nourish.com. So we'd be happy to help you and walk you through the process. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption.